if you have a piece of paper handy, if you hold it up to the nearest light, you'll see that actually light will shine through that piece of paper. And that's the very first image that MTS Darker uses at the start of tissue, paper that lets the light shine through. Um, so we've, I've talked previously about paper and what it means, but there is this motif or series of metaphors or images linked to light in this poem. And that's at the very start of the poem that light can shine through paper. Um, that's important. I'm going to come back to light as a motif later on. But that's, that's the first image that's used in the poem. And then the poem says, this is what could alter things. So the light that is shining through this paper, this could change um, the way that we live. And paper is also thinned by age or touching. So the more we use it and the more we use it over our own life, lifetimes, um, paper also ages with us. So it's almost like it's a part of us as well. So this poem is using paper as a metaphor uh, or a way of explaining a life. And it's almost like we are made up of tissue and paper is a form of tissue. Um, so Imtiaz Dark is able to use this idea of paper to help explain her ideas about life and help us to try and understand life as well. In stanza two, uh, it moves on to talk about um, the Quran um, and well-used books. So books are made up of paper. If you go to a library, you'll find really, really old books and the old books have a particular kind of smell to them. If you're interested, the reason why books smell like that is because of the glue and the fact that it's in, in the middle of the pages and binds it together. It gives you that smell as it begins to rot over time. So books are used a lot. Paper is thinned uh, by age and by people touching and, re and reading information on the pages. Um, so books are well used. Um, in the second line of stands, it talks about the back of the Quran. Now, Imtiaz Darka has a really interesting background. Um, she was born in uh, the Punjab in Pakistan, but she spent some of her life growing up in Glasgow in Scotland and also in Wales. Um, and she describes herself as a Scottish Muslim Calvinist. So her identity is um, lots of different uh, cultural strands put together. So identity is something that's always been important in terms of Imtiaz Darker's life. Um, and I think that's reflected in uh, tissue as well. Um, and it mentions here about the back of the Quran. So Darker with her background from Pakistan, uh, which is a, a Muslim country, the Quran and um, Islam is important to her and her background. Um, and all holy texts are important to people, um, whichever religion they belong to. So in Christianity, uh, it would be the Bible. Um, in, um, in Judaism, it would be the Torah. So whatever religion that you belong to, books are important because those books are how you uh, lead your life. They help you to understand life and help you to guide you through your own life. So those, those books with all that information written on for hundreds or even thousands of years ago is absolutely crucial to those people who are religious and, and, and have faith in that particular religion. So that's mentioned there. Um, and the poem goes on to talk about where a hand is written in the names and histories, who was born to whom. Now I've seen um, Imtiaz Darkin when she's done some poetry readings, um, and in particular of Tissue, and they're available on YouTube if you look for the, I think they're on the BBC learning page, which talks about how her father had written down um, her family's, uh, family members' names and histories in the back of a Quran as well. So that's, that's perhaps alluding to that here, and how that book and that text is, was so important to Darker personally, but in terms of everyone else and the readers who are reading this, religious texts are important to those people because it guides them through life. And human history is, is, into, is entwined or interwoven uh, into religion and into these books as well. So I think that's what uh, Darker might be getting there, but that's certainly how I interpret it anyway. <laughs>